Hey, Darren Olinger here, and I have some great insight to share with you today. Whether you're an advertiser on traffic changes in SafeList or you're an active user on them, or maybe both. So from the user perspective, if you're using like a SafeList or a traffic change, you're generally opening a lot of different tabs, and many of them may be at the same time. So if you're opening all these tabs and some of them have sound on them, you're just creating a lot of times a lot of different noise that is kind of annoying right so the way that most people get around that is turning their computer sound completely off but you don't necessarily have to do that there is a firefox add-on that i've been using that has been around really a long time and it allows you to completely mute your browser so a lot a lot of browsers nowadays will let you mute individual tabs when they're open but you open a new tab which you do a lot of in uh, SafeList especially that tab isn't going to be muted so if you have a an add-on like this muter add-on here will mute your whole browser so I'm going to show you how that works quickly first you'll go to your browser the three bars here to open up the menu go to add-ons and then you'll be on this page under the search option type in muter and then make sure you're looking at available add-ons and muter should come up then you can install it into your browser then you'll need to restart so I'll be right back so once you've restarted Firefox you should see it in your browser and it's right up here actually and it basically works just like a toggle so if I click on it and it looks like this without the green marks then it is muted the whole browser is muted if I open new tabs or anything I'm not gonna hear anything that's playing in Firefox and then I can toggle it on again so that I can hear sound and that's when it's green you can also change the position of this if for example you installed it and it's not installed right here it's maybe somewhere else on your browser just go into your menu again click on customize and then you'll you'll find it wherever it is and you can drag it to different locations wherever you prefer to have it now I did do some searching and I wasn't able to find an equivalent for the Chrome browser so if someone does know of a plugin for that uh, please leave a comment and let us know or you know for any other browsers as well so you may know that I use videos a lot on my, in my advertising. So why would I teach people about this? Well, first of all, I'm looking to help the community in, in by informing you of this. But secondly, it's not all about the video. And I'll show you here. If you're advertising on safe lists or traffic changes, you have to assume that a good percentage of the people either won, they have their sound completely turned off on their computer or number two they're using something like the muter to block the sound so they're not going to hear any audio or video that you have playing on your website that you're advertising whether you do, you own the website yourself or you're advertising in something as an affiliate it would not be optimal at all to have just a video and nothing else on your page because people aren't going to a lot of the people are going to miss out on your message. So if you look at my landing pages, for example, I opened up one of my sites here, List Surfing, you'll see that it's not completely relying on the video, uh, the sound part of the video. It does have a voiceover and all that, but inside the video itself, it even has um, stylized text that shows that people will be able to view when they have the page open. But you should also have some accompanying text on your, your page. Uh, captivating headlines and uh, descriptions and uh, images things that will really get the attention of the visitor in a short period of time of course you don't want your page to look too overwhelming make sure that you have some space and the most important things standing out so if you are advertising something in safe lists or traffic changes and it's relying really heavily on video and not nothing accompanying it then that's really a bad idea you probably should be creating your own landing page that will allow you to reach people who aren't going to be watching the video or you know it's something that will catch their attention even if their sound is off another thing to keep in mind really is that even though your landing page is important uh, 
it's probably even more important to be consistent with your advertising and when you when I'm, I'm referring to safe list and traffic changes because you want people to be seeing you and your pages over and over again and that's going to make them a lot more receptive to your promotions. So in short, if you are annoyed by the sound while you're using safest or traffic changes, go ahead and get muter and I hope you enjoy it. And if you're an advertiser, make sure that you're creating pages or advertising pages with that in mind because you're not going to stop people from um, doing what is in their best interest. I've also included a list of uh, my favorite browser plugins and, and extensions that I use basically on a daily basis that I mean really once I started using them I couldn't live without them so um, they can transform the way that you market online and I hope they really help you out so I will see you next time until then take care